Hey readers, it's Miss Morgan from the Emmett O'Neill Library, and I wanted to make a quick Extreme Reads tutorial video for everybody who is interested in participating this summer. Normally, I get to come and visit everybody at their school libraries and talk about books and reading challenges and prizes. And of course, sadly, this year, I didn't get to do any of that, and I'm so sad about it. Um, but I wanted to make this video to hopefully answer any questions you might have. All right, so if you are interested in participating in Extreme Reads, it is for readers who are going into third through sixth grade, uh, and it is a special extra reading program that you can do in addition to our regular summer reading, which is a program where you can read absolutely anything under the sun. All right, so this is the Extreme Reads website, and you're gonna find it by going to the Emmett O'Neill Library webpage, and the children's drop-down menu right here up at the top, there'll be a little tab that says Extreme Reads. It's not there right now, but I promise it'll be there when you're watching this video. All right, and then you're gonna scroll down, and right here we've got our Extreme Reads guidelines. This is gonna have all of your dates, and all of your rules and all of your instructions, and we're gonna come back and talk about those in a minute. And then right here, it talks about the prizes, which is the whole reason you're doing Extreme Reads in the first place. Right here is a little link where you can download a copy of the challenge sheet. We'll come back to that. And if you don't wanna download a copy of the challenge sheet, you don't have to, because all 20 challenges are right here on the main webpage. And some of them have little links of list of books uh, to help you out with that challenge. So challenge number two is to read a book that has a movie tie-in. And if you click here, it will give you a list of books that are 100 pages or more that have all either been turned into a movie or a TV show or some type of thing like that. And so there's a whole list of suggested titles here that will fit your challenge, okay? We don't have them for all of the challenges, just the ones I think you might really need a hand with, especially this uh, challenge number eight, read a book published the year you were born. Right here, we have a list of books uh, for 2008, 2009, all the way up to 2013. That one's probably gonna be the most helpful list. All right, and then down here are your two bonus challenges. These are the challenges that you're either going to uh, make a video, a book commercial video, talking about a book you really enjoyed, or reading a book connected to mythology and then dressing up like a mythological creature or a mythological character, a god, a goddess, a hero, a heroine, um, and taking a picture of yourself as that mythological person and sending it to me with whoever you are dressed up as. So those are our fun bonus challenges where you have to make a picture or video and send it in to get credit. And then they're not here at the moment, but right down here is where you are going to find pictures of the prizes we are going to be offering. Um, we've already got some of those lined up. We just haven't gotten the pictures taken of the prizes and posted, but we're going to be giving away an iPad mini like we do every year. Uh, this year, we're also giving away a laser tag party, uh, which of course you will have to hang on to until social distancing restrictions have uh, lessened a little bit. And then we're gonna have five other prize packages and you'll be able to see all of them right here. Okay, so this is gonna be all of your basic information. If you ever have questions or help finding a book, this is a great place to come to. All right, so let's talk about those rules real quick. What is it that makes extreme reads so hard, right? So the first rule is that all of the books you use for extreme reads need to be at least 100 pages or more. All right, now I know that that's gonna be really easy for some of you guys, um, and some of you it might be a little bit harder, um, but those are the rules. That's what makes it extreme, 100 pages or more for all of your books. Can't do picture books for this challenge. Now, if you do enjoy reading picture books, that's totally cool, and you can log all of those books on your regular summer reading challenge. You guys are lucky enough that you can do both challenges and get credit for both, okay? All right, so books must be 100 pages. Your second rule is that you have to read a different challenge, a different book for every challenge. So even though Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone would work for challenge number two, a book that has a movie made about it, 
And it would also work for challenge number five, read a book set in a different country. You're going to have to pick which challenge you want to use it for, okay? So different book for every challenge, all right? And this is really more of a guideline, but I'd really appreciate it if you stuck with it. There are 20 challenges, but once you've done all 20 challenges, you can repeat them, okay? Um, so you can jump around and go in any order that you want. You can do challenge 11, then you can do challenge 6, challenge 18, challenge 20. You get it. You can jump around. You don't have to go 1, 2, 3 in order. But you need to do all 20 challenges before you repeat any of them. Historical fiction might be your favorite type of book. But I want you to try some of the other challenges before you repeat the historical fiction challenge, okay? Um, one of the reasons we do Extreme Reads is because I want you guys to expand your reading horizons. And this is how I do it, by giving you these guidelines and these rules to get you to try a bunch of different books you might have never looked at before, okay? So let's get down to the nitty gritty. We're gonna click on this right here where it says go to the Beanstack website. And this is where you are going to register. Um, or if you already have an account, you can just log in. I'm gonna sign in. If you've been doing our reading roundup program these past couple of weeks um, before summer reading, then you already have an account and you can use that account for extreme reads, okay? I'm gonna click sign in. And I have created an account for my cat, whose name is Duncan, and I'm going to log in to Duncan's account. And don't ever save your passwords. Now this is something I'm seeing because um, I'm a staff member, but this is what you will see. All of the challenges that are available to you are gonna pop up right here. And this is open right now uh, because I'm making this video, but you will not be able to do any of the challenges until the 25th, all right? This will say May 25th in the real world. So we're gonna click register for this challenge, all right? And then return to this challenge will take us into it. And if you ever need to get back to that screen, here's a little tip. If you're doing regular summer reading and extreme summer reading, and you're not sure where to go if you've already done your extreme reads and now you need to log your regular books, Right up here in the left-hand corner, this logo will always take you back to the main page so you can switch between your reading programs, okay? All right, so this is the Extreme Reads page on Beanstack, and it's going to be all of the same information we just saw on the other web page. So it's got the rules, it's got the dates, it has a place to download the list of challenges, and this link right here is actually going to take you back to that page where you can find all of the book lists that we talked about earlier. We've got our rules, it talks about the prizes, and it tells you that you can start logging your challenges on Monday 25th. And then there is a little thing here about SNAP. SNAP is our Thursday afternoon programs for third through sixth graders. And sadly, of course, the library is going to be closed this summer. We won't be able to physically have SNAP all together in the library. But we have come up with some ways to do virtual programs and take-home crafts and programs like that that I'm hoping will still be a lot of fun for you guys. Um, so this will have information about our weekly SNAP program. The first SNAP of the summer is going to be a Perler B take-home craft. I know that you've never had to register for SNAP before. But because of the changes this year, you will need to register for SNAP in order to be able to pick up your crafts and in order to get information for Zoom meetings and trivia get-togethers. Um, so this summer, make sure you are registering for all of your SNAP programs so that you have all the information you need to participate and have fun. All right. And then we have all of our challenge badges. Now these challenges, challenge one summer, challenge two movies, these little boxes, these badges, uh, correspond to all the challenges on the piece of paper, on the sheet, on the website, challenges one through 20, all right? So let's do a sample challenge. You've registered, it's after May 25th, you can start posting your challenges. Let's do... Hmm, 
Oh, you know what? The anniversary challenge. I think that's about reading a sports book. Let's click there. Okay. So it's the 100th year anniversary of the founding of the organization that would become the National Football League. So in honor of that, read a sports book. All right. And I have actually read quite a few sports books. And right here, it looks like I need to download a plugin. Uh, but there is a link to a list of suggested titles. Let's see what happens when we click on it. It is a list full of sports books that are all over 100 pages, and they're divided up by sports. So if you're into baseball, we've got baseball books. If you're into basketball, we've got basketball books, football, gymnastics and dance, hockey, ice skating, wrestling, soccer, track. We've got all kinds of stuff. We've got books for swimming and fencing and tennis, even a book for mini golf. All right, so lots of suggestions. But I already know which book I'm going to talk about. Um, so the first thing you always want to do on all of your Extreme Reads challenges is type the title of your book, the author, and the number of pages. All right, so I'm going to talk about Nikki on the Line by Barbara Carol Roberts, and then it is 336 pages. Perfect. Okay, so after you've done that, you're going to do that for every single challenge. Um, oh, I think I misspelled Barbara. Okay, you're going to do that for every single challenge. Always give me your title, your author, and your number of pages. Then, after you've done that, this right here will not always say write a review. Sometimes it might say, tell me five words that describe the book. Sometimes it might say, write what country it was written in and give me two facts about it. Um, but this one wants us to write a review, so always check that. It changes depending on the challenge that you're doing. Reviews don't have to be super long. I just need a little bit of information from you. So let's say I really liked Nikki, even though I'm not a basketball fan because this was a book about a girl who plays basketball. I enjoyed, well, I guess I didn't watch. I guess I read reading about Nikki balancing school, friendship, and moving up in her, oops, I can never spell league. I'm so sorry, guys. Team. All right, so that's all I need. Just a little bit of information. Did you like the book? Did you not like it? And why? Easy peasy. Just two sentences. All right, and then you're going to hit save. And just like that, you have unlocked a batch. All right, and you are on your way to winning Extreme Reads prizes. Now, if you mess up, if you type something wrong, um, you can always go back and change it. So you can click on Edit Answer, and like if you forgot to put the number of pages, you can go back and add that. Um, anything that you forgot or need to change, you can go in and you can edit your answers, okay? So let's go back to the main page. Oh, nope, this page. All right, and now we can see that our badge has gone from grayed out to full color. All right, so now that we've done that, it's time to talk about prizes, right? So we talked about, um, we'll have pictures on the website of the prize packages we're giving away at the end of the summer, but how do you actually win one of those prizes? So. Every challenge you do, every badge that you turn from gray to full color is going to be an entry into a drawing at the end of the summer for the prizes. There'll be seven big prize packages, um, the iPad mini, the laser tag party, and the other packages that I mentioned. Um, so every challenge you do, 
gives you a better shot at winning one of those prizes at the end of the summer. So if you do 20 challenges, you have a much better chance of winning than somebody who only does two challenges. But this is summer reading and it's supposed to be fun. So you do however many challenges you wanna do this summer. It is totally up to you, no pressure. The other prize you can win, every challenge that you complete, also enters you in a weekly gift card drawing from places around town like Snoozies and Sugar, um, Mountain Brook Creamery, um, so both delicious and fun places around Mountain Brook. We're gonna be giving away gift cards to every week, and if you have completed a challenge the week before, then you will be in that week's drawing. All right, so those both rely on luck. Gift card drawings, grand prize drawings at the end of the summer. Here is something that does not depend on luck. For every five challenges that you complete um, for Extreme Reads, you get to pick out a book from our prize room. Now it's gonna look a little bit differently than it has in the past. We usually have a room set up full of books and you get to walk into the room and look around and pick out whichever book it is that you want to keep forever and ever. Well, because of social distancing and the library being closed this summer, this year we are setting up a system using Zoom and you will be able to find more information about that on our website and on the summer reading calendar. Um, and that will give you the instructions for how you're gonna be able to pick out the books you want and pick them up from the library, okay? So every five challenges, you can get a book for Extreme Reads that is yours to keep forever and ever, up to eight books, all right? Um, and then you can also get free books if you're doing regular summer reading. So you can get eight books from Extreme Reads, and I believe this summer you can win up to 10 books on the regular summer reading program. Um, so if you participate all summer long and work super, super, super hard, at the end of the summer, you could have 18 free books that are all yours to keep forever and ever. All right, I think I have covered the basics. Um, but if you have any questions, you can always get in touch with me at the library, um, and you can always send me an email at um, the Extreme Reads email address. And a good place to find the Extreme Reads email address is on this page. If you come down here, it's right here. It's where you're going to send your videos and your pictures to. Any questions you have, any problems with registering or challenges or questions about books, you can send them to this email address and I will always get back to you as soon as I possibly can. All right, you guys, I hope everyone has an excellent summer. I hope everybody reads some wonderful books. All right, happy reading, guys.